Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 267. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 265 to 267. Hey, in 267, we just want to see how to create a formula for percentage change and then how to make a chart or graph from that. Now, here's the finished result here. I'll delete all this and then we'll start from scratch. Right, the formula for percentage change, and this is a good one to just memorize and use forever. It has so many applications. It's pretty easy. Um, but first, here's our January, February, March, April, May net income, and then we're going to have our percentage change. Well, there's no percentage change here because the base month will be January, so I'm just going to type a zero, tab, and then here it is, this wonderful formula that works forever, equals whatever the end end value is divided where whatever the begin value is wherever you ended up remember we started here and we went to here right so there's a beginning number and an end number you just take the end number divided by the begin number minus one and that's it that'll work control enter I'm going to click and drag, and these relative cell references will work all the way over. If I click in the last cell and hit F2 to check, sure enough, it got the end value divided by the begin value minus 1. Now, how are we going to, uh, and you could add formatting if you want here. Uh, we don't, I'm not going to add any formatting. Now, we, we need to create a chart. And as we saw, it had both a column and a line, so there's a, there's a special trick we'll use for that one. Now I want to highlight all of our data. I'm going to highlight all like that. And there's uh, two data series here with uh, some labels. And then we're going to go up to Insert. Uh, column, and I'm going to select this first one. But in, since I'm in 2007, I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt F1. Alt F1. Now the problem is, is that it doesn't know that we want a line and a column. So one way to, or no, we have to deal with that. And the first thing is we have to do is we have to select the, I'm sliding the size down here. We actually have to somehow select the data set. And it's so small you can't even see it down here. You can see that it's registering there because that's red. But watch this, if you have a chart highlighted your arrow keys cycle through the chart element so I'm going to use my up arrow and there's lots of other ways to do this but as soon as I can see that the, the data series at the bottom has a little highlight uh, uh, circles I know that it's highlighted now I can if I can get to it and right click which is kind of hard here oh that's really hard you could right click change chart type. Otherwise, you could go to design and change chart type. I'm going to select this line right here and click OK. Now, of course, that didn't work, of all, work at all because both of these data series are working off, off of this. But let's use our arrow keys and select our uh, chart element again. There, there it is, these ones right here. And now we want to Add it to the second axis. I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut Control 1. Control 1, any element in here that you select, you can format. You can bring up the format. And I'm just going to say secondary axis. So there we have our, um, our columns, uh, which are based on these numbers here. And then we have our line chart, which is the percentage change. Now, I'd like to format. Actually, I'd like to do a, f a few things here. Let's move this to the top. I'm going to Control-1. This is called a legend, Control-1. And then say, show at top. So it'll be like our chart uh, title up here. Now, I want to format this axis here. So I'm going to highlight it. And you, in this version, 2007, you really, it's a e lot easier to see when it's highlighted than earlier versions. Control-1. And then I'm going to say, number percentage, and I'm going to say zero decimals. Click close. Uh, still looking pretty good. We still need to do a few more things. It looks like we have, um, if this had too many decimals showing, you could right click and change that, but that's looking pretty good there. Notice it got the labels down here also. Maybe it might be nice to have labels for this data series so we could see our percentages. So you got to highlight that. 
And then we want to, you can right click. Let's see if we can right click this. Oh, there's a right click key. Oh, I always forget about that. The right click key is between the window key and the control key and below shift on the right side. So earlier when we had that selected down here, we could have done right click, uh, change chart type. But I'm going to say right click. And we want add data labels. And it got them, but oh, they don't look good. We want them to look like that. So we have to click on the actual labels. And the way you click it on labels is you want to just click once. If you click slow, double click, then it highlights just one of them. And you can do something to just one of them. But we want to highlight all of them. And then Control-1. I'm going to go do the same thing, number, percentage, zero decimals. And then click this little close at the bottom. Now I'm going to click on these columns and control one and then I'm going to change the color. Fill, solid, and I'm going to change it to yellow. No, maybe orange. Uh, yellow is too acidic. So that's looking sort of like what we had before. Notice uh, there was zero because that's a beginning, then a minus seven, 12, three, et cetera. So that is looking uh, just fine. We saw how to do. Uh, N divided by begin minus 1 for percentage change, and it works in a million different uh, ways, different fields, different endeavors. Everyone uses that percentage change. And then how to create a chart with columns and a line. All right, we'll see you next trick.